going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Check, check, check. I'm not. Okay, fix that. I couldn't hear me. Yeah. Are we good? All right, welcome here to Page High School. Summertown picked up a game this morning after the rain out. Uh, boys will be playing Page. Little lineup change today. You got Grayson Burson playing first base. He's hitting first. Cason Blackwood in center field. Kane Kinnick at third. Jackson Bennett at shortstop. Got Keegan McCafferty DHing today for uh, Graham Howell. Aiden Perez is back out here in left field. Got Zach Staggs playing right field for us today. Matthew Luffman at second base. Braden Keaton will be pitching for us today. First pitch. Ball's ripped here into left field. It's going to be a double get down right there. Grayson's going to get him a stand up double. First pitch of the game. It's a good way to start the game right there. Yeah, pretty good leadoff. Yeah, glad to see Grayson. I said something to him about his batting gloves down here a while ago when they was uh, taking a little BP in the cage. And he said, I made this swing with them today. And I said, well, I don't know that you've had a hit with them bright yellow batting gloves, right. but these white ones seem to be working pretty good. So <laughs> maybe after that hit. So, so bear with us with the wind today. Yeah, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough on the cameras and on the sound. We look, we've tried every place on this whole field to try and find a, a spot without a lot of wind, and we couldn't find one. So the cameras are going to be shaky. It's going to be rough. Bring up Case and Blackwood. Kane Kinnick should be on deck. Grayson's got his lead here at second. Case and squares the bunt. Well, we, what are we going to offer the kids today if they can get a bunt down? <laughs> they can get a bunt down. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but I know Jake didn't seem to like that much the other day. <laughs> no, so he I didn't. May, I may start paying for bunts. You know, can we start paying for like ten dollars a bunt? As long as we don't have uh, violations of that. Uh, well, maybe I don't pay the kids. I don't know, if, is that legal? That's, that's probably illegal, ain't it? I didn't even think yeah. about it. Grayson's got his lead here at second. Pitch is going to be drove into right field. Right footer does make the play. Grayson kind of jumps off there. No, no. They do get it in. Yeah, he didn't have a chance on the tag. It was a short fly ball in the right field. Going to bring up Kane Kinnick. Hitting in the three hole today. And Grayson standing at second, one out. Well, first two batters got some good contact. Second one just went right to the right fielder. Yeah, and this wind is miserable. It's gonna be hard on some outfield. Yeah. Ball's gonna get away from the catcher. Grayson's gonna move up to third. All right, I take a nice fly ball to the outfield yeah, here. Yeah, just uh, ground ball to right side. I yeah, I mean that's uh, you know, hey, you, you know, you're back siding right here. That's what you're thinking as a hitter. So, one We're, ball, no strikes. Runner standing at third with one out. Pitcher comes set here. Delivers to Kane. Kane's going to hit that ball foul down third baseline kind of softly. I don't know. He kind of bailed on that in a little bit, Will. So one one count. You able to see the scoreboard okay? Uh, Yes, I can, but they don't look like they've got anything on it. So 
No. They've got it on, but it don't look like it's operating right now. That's too bad. One ball, one strike, one out. He's going to take that ball in the dirt for ball two. Good job with the catcher not letting that by him. It's my first time to page. I've been up here a couple of times, Will. Will. I used to watch my sister play volleyball here ages ago, but that's it. Okay, he's going to take Cat for a strike. Puts him down. Now he counts 2-2. Two -two. Got to go to work here. Got to get this run in from third. I mean, one out, you've got to, you know, you got to put the ball in play right here and make something happen. Ball's in the dirt. It's going to skip by the catcher. Grayson's going to slide in home safe. There we go. So lead off double. Pass ball moves up to third. Pass ball moves home. Scores the first run of the game. Counts three balls, two strikes on Kane with one out. Now they get the scoreboard going. Looks like it. Oh, yeah. Ball's going to be in the dirt for ball four. Kane's going to jog down the first base. It's going to bring up Jackson Bennett. Trying to shield my mic with this glove. Yeah, Will, I, that, and I'll just beat myself. <laughs> nah, you're good. It ain't that bad. Hey, that sounds a lot better when I'm not. Well, I can't hear. There we go. Yeah, I don't think it's that bad though. All I can hear when I'm speaking. I'm the one that's real loud. Yeah. Jackson fouls that and off. Strike one. Come say it here. Kane got a pretty good lead over at first. Jackson swings through that one for strike two. Goes down 0 2. We're without Joe Calton today. He's doing travel ball. Yeah, doing a little travel so baseball. We're so we're short handed. Yeah, Will's trying to run everything. Joe's been taking some of the stuff off him. And now Will's trying to keep up with all the buttons. Gonna pick over to first, gonna get away. Kane's gonna move up to second. Slides in there safe. Kane does move up still. No balls, two strikes, one out. Jackson Bennett batting, Kane Kinnick at second. Like anybody's gonna try to hold Kane on here at second. Second base, some kind of darts in. Jackson's gonna hit a ground ball towards the shortstop. Shortstop fields, boots, throws over to first. Oh, they say he got him over there, Will. It was close, bang, bang. I don't know if I got a good shot of it or not. Let's see. Eh, I thought the runner was there. Does move Kane up to third. No Coach Blackwood acts like he thought he was there, but a lot of times they just try to sell it. Gonna bring up Keegan McCafty, DH and for us today. Keegan DH and. Fouls that and straight back. Hey, Keegan's been making contact and that, you know. Yeah. Uh, I take another one of those wild pitches here. Yeah. Pitcher comes set here. He's throwing is in the wind up out of the stretch now. Uh, yeah, and Keegan does go. That ball's in the dirt out. Something they've started which years past is, you know, a runner gets it third and they've got two outs, the pitcher will go plumb out of the well, stretch and start throwing from the wind up, which to me is Keegan swings through that one for strike through. To me, Will, it, it you know, you get a pass ball thrower from that wind up like that, and it, it makes it a lot easier to score because you're 
your guy at third, you can't hold him on if you've got a guy standing at third throwing from the windup. So, uh, you know, to me, it, it takes a little away from it. Yeah, well, as it stands, Summertown leaves one on. There was a questionable call at first there. Um, but it's one nothing going into the bottom of the first. Uh, Braden Keaton on the mound. We'll take a little break. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds. Let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals. All right, we're back. Their leadoff hitter is going to step in the box. I'm trying to hold a ball glove over my mic so the wind ain't so bad, guys. So I'm trying to one finger in my hand. Going to be Cam Harris. It's their center fielder. Swings through the first pitch for strike one. He is a lefty. Keaton comes set and delivers that pitch. It's going to be lifted in the air. Matthew Luffman should have a chance at that one. He does, makes the play, first out of the inning. I'm telling you, this win today, guys, is going, that's, that, you know, them little pop-ups or them, which that's a high fly ball, can't really call that a pop-up, but uh, on the infield there, you know, and things hit up in this win, it's going to be tough. Yeah, we'll have to be gracious with the infielders today if they miss some pop flies. It's going to be number 17, Lawrence Foul, left fielder coming up. Fouls the first pitch off. And first base side. I think, Will, with this wind blowing like it's blowing, I may get to catch one out here on this porch we're sitting on. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll show where we're sitting here in a minute. Pitch is delivered, called strike two. It's a good pitch right there for Braden. All-speed pitch there, kind of froze him up. No balls, two strikes, one out. Ball's gonna be left up, ball one. Another pitch going to be left up, ball two. They can come say it delivers. Leaves that nut, ball three. Don't lose them. They've got three one on the board. I've got three two, is that? I've got it's three two yeah. on the board. Yeah. All right, that, that is changed. That pitch is going to be hit, short stop. Jackson Bennett Fields throws over to first base. First out, second out of the inning. All right, so this should bring up. Is that Ethan? La is this Lawrence file? No, Lawrence file just hit. That was the oh, two hole. This is okay. the three hole. Uh oh. Ethan, Ethan Harrell. Ethan Harrell. Another lefty. The catcher. Called strike one on him. Braden Keaton comes set and delivers. The breaking pitch. It's a line drive back up the middle, the center fielder. Blackwood comes in field, flips it back in. 
kind of did today. We had a tough time getting that third out. Sometimes we get two we, quick we, outs. Yeah, I've, I've said it before. I think we got a two-out curse. They are going to get a courtesy runner for their catcher. It was number seven. I'll have to look. See who it was. Strike one. Sorry, I was trying to look. Mason Lee was a courtesy runner. Number 23, Silas Porter, is up. It's her third baseman. Ball in the dirt. For ball one. So one ball, one strike, two outs. Runner standing at first base. Pick back over to first for Braden. He gets back safe. Braden picks over again. Grayson, good scoop. Got yeah, there Grayson. Good, good scoop. I'd like to let that vine. Deliver here home. Brunner does go. Throw a little high. Jackson Bennett there to back it up. One ball, one strike, two outs. Runner does advance to second. Pitch delivery here to Silas. He's going to foul that one back into the new concrete. They was pouring over her this morning. Now has a baseball print in the center of it. So here I'll, here in a minute I'll show you where we're set up. Braden comes set, one ball, two strikes, delivers. Ground ball here to third base, Kane Kinnick Fields. Throws over to first base, third out of the inning. It'll work. So, you know, pour up three down, runner did advance the second, but we get out of it without giving up a run. See if we can't tack a few more on. This is Summertime Baseball on Exports Network. If you want the best clean and wash experience, you need to catch the happy wave at Tidal Wave Auto Spa. Don't settle for streaks, dirt residue, water spots, and weak vacuums that you can get at just any car wash. At all our locations, you will be greeted by a smiling attendant who will pre-wash your car front and back to remove any stubborn bugs and dirt before guiding you through the tunnel, where your car will be treated to the ultimate spa treatment with state-of-the-art equipment and one-of-a-kind wash experience that will give your car a showroom shine. Afterwards, you can help yourself to our free powerful vacuums, cleaning cloths, and glass and surface cleaner for the perfect finishing touch. When it comes to caring for your car, don't settle for any wash and pay for all the extras. Get the best when you catch the happy wave at your local Tidal Wave Auto Spa. All right, we're back as Aiden Perez is going to step in the box, lead off this inning for us, top of the second. Aiden's going to hit a line drive back up the middle for a base hit. I like that aggressive first pitch swinging. Kid's going to throw you a fastball on the first pitch. We need to be hitting it. We'll bring up Zach Staggs, hitting in the seven hole for us today. Bartison run through his signs down here. Zach's going to step in. Aiden's going to get his lead over at first. Pitch 
whatever, gonna be up for ball one. Sorry, Will, I had to kill you, man. Your wind in your mics is a little rough. Pick back over to first, I can get back safe. Said here. One ball, no strikes, no out. Aiden Perez standing at first base. Which comes set, delivers to Zach. Zach's going to take that fast ball for strike one. Ball's going to be in the dirt. Perez is going to move up on it. Good read right there by Perez. Needs to pop, move. Uh, I think Jason might have Jason might have held him up a little bit. Uh, good read right there by Perez. That ball's in the dirt. Kicks off the catcher of third baseline. He does come up and throw. Throws it out into uh, right center field a little bit. They do come up with it. Holds him at second. Summertown got a runner standing at second here with no outs. Two balls, one strike here on Zach. Perez got a pretty good lead there. Zach's going to foul that one straight back. Bring the count even 2 2. Set here. Aiden walks out to a pretty good lead at second. Second baseman sneaking in. He drops back. Picks delivered. Zach's going to hit a line drive in the center field. He's going to get in the gap. That's going to be at least a double. Should should score Perez. Perez rounding third. Going to go in to score. Zach's going to have a stand up double. Good piece of hitting there by Zach. I don't know what kind of move that was he just done there on second base. But it was cute. They all have their little <laughs> yeah, doubles. Their, their little stance. doubles thing. I noticed uh, Blackwood the other day was the uh, Karate Kid yeah. move, you know. Yeah. Everybody's got their little doubles deal they have to do. But Zach hits a double there. Drives in another run. Bring up Matthew Luffin with Zach here at second base. Still no outs. Delivers. Matthew swings through the first pitch for strike one. But I was glad to see that from Zach. Oh, I was too. Yeah, yeah that's that's big for Zach. We need, you know, uh, Zach ain't hit very well since we got back from the beach. And I think Zach knew that. I mean, you know, Zach's been working on it a little bit, you know, around up our practice and a little extra tee work, little stuff. He kind of knew that he was off a little bit. But Matthew swings through that one for strike two, puts him down 0 2. You know, Zach's a senior on this team. He kind of knows when he's – I think that's the deal with him falling in the lineup a little bit. But, uh, you know, he'll work his way back up there. Going to be a good hitter for us as the season goes on. Ball's going to be down for a ball. Makes it one ball, two strikes, nobody out. Stags at second. Come set here, taking a little while on this pitch. Does go ahead and deliver it home. Matthew takes that in the inside. Ball two, even to count up 2-2. Two, two. Maybe the wind has settled down just a tad for a second. You know, if this wind would quit blowing, it would be, I think it would be sitting out here in shorts. It would be beautiful. <laughs> if the it, wind would go away, it'd be really nice, but this wind's rough. Pitch Pitcher comes set here to deliver the 2-2. Two, two. Delivers. Matthew's going to take that in the dirt. Brings it back full. Braden Keaton standing on deck. Get Matthew on here and give Braden a chance to help himself as the fisher today. 
Pitcher delivers. Matthew's going to foul that one back. I think that might have got over the new concrete. Move forward back there. I'd just like to see this runner on second at third base when Braden comes up with one out. Yeah, that'd be great. We can just get him moved over. So three balls, two strikes, no outs. Stag still at second. Pitcher comes set here. Ball just delivers. Ball's going to be in the dirt. Matthew's going to draw that walk. Going to bring up Braden Keaton with two on. What Coach Burson's got in mind here with his pitcher. I've heard that Braden is a really good bunter. Uh, just I, I was actually told the other day during practice that Braden, you know, one of the Kane come in and said, hey, Braden's probably one of the best bunters we've got. You know, but uh, there, he goes. there he goes. Squares, gets the <laughs> bunt down, everything worked. Oh, they go to three. He's they safe, though. They, they, they say oh. he's out, and I missed it. Yeah, that was bang, bang over here. But Braden does get the bunt down. That's what I said to somebody that day. You know, Braden's, Braden's one of her pitchers, and he's one of the it slower just guys. Go, it just went right back to the pitcher there. Yes, they did, yeah. Uh -oh. I actually think a shortstop fielded that ball. Oh, was it? Yeah, shortstop fielded that ball and throwed it to third. It's bunted a little hard. I can barely see these screens, but let's see here. No, it went back to the pitcher. Oh, was it? Yeah. The I know it was back off his side. I, th I thought the shortstop might have got to it. It's going to be back to the top, though, with Grayson Burleson stepping in with one out. If Grayson can't stay on his hot streak, he takes first pitch strike. At, that's down and in. That's not a pitch. Some kind of off speed. That's not a pitch that you want to swing yet. See if Grayson can't chase a couple home here. Takes that pitch in. Ball one. Evens the count up. One ball, one strike, one out. Got my glove on, Will. I'm ready. Yeah, I feel safe out here. I bet you do. I may duck when they hit it this direction. <laughs> my hands are so cold, I don't know that I can want to catch it. Grayson's going to hit a ground ball towards the shop. Then the 5 6 hole going to get through. They are going to wave Matthew Luffman home. Cut. Don't throw home. Grayson does chase another run home, man. It's a good piece of hitting there, but Grayson. I say needed. stay hot, Grayson Burleson. Yeah, absolutely. I think he's four for his last five now. So. Brings up Kaysen now. Runners at first and second. Summertown now up. Three nothing. Well, Coach Burson's got mine here with Casey Blackwood stepping in with one out. Did get a pinch runner for Braden and Mason Neal. So, so Blackwood does square the bunt, pulls back at pitches high. Everybody crashed. Not a bad idea here. The way everybody was playing, they was pretty deep on him. So, well, Cason's wheels. Takes that first pitch for a ball. Shows bunt, then pulls back to slash. Takes another ball. Gonna make the first baseman hesitate on crashing so hard this time after that. Should anyways. Would me. He squares again. Pulls back, takes a strike. Makes it two balls, one strike, one out. Runner standing at first and second. And Grayson Burleson and Mason Neal is Braden Keaton at second. Fouls that bunt back. We're going to 
to sweeten the pot on this getting your butt down contest. <laughs> so it's not just carrying the books. Like well, I tried to, and you told me I couldn't do that. Yeah. It was illegal or something. But may have to do that off air. Offer him a free prom ticket. Yeah, something. Oh, this <laughs> picture. Uh, fakes to throw to second. Neil gets back. So two balls, two strikes, one out. Casey Blackwood at the plate. Kane Kinnick will be on deck. Ball's going to be up. Ball three. That's uh, not a bad looking pitch. You know, um, Kaysen struck out to the game the other night, and I went back and watched later that night, and it did seem like a low pitch that the catcher framed yeah. beautifully. Yeah. Takes that inside for strike three. Neil does steal third. Kaysen takes strike three on the inside corner. Neil moves up. Well, same result as a bunt, really. Oh, yeah, really, it is. We've got uh, Neil moves up to third. Grayson Burleson moves up to second. So, runner standing in scoring position right here for our three-hole hitter, Kane Kinnick. Camera just went With wild With two there. outs. And he's going to hit a foul ball over into the third base dugout. He just settled a little wheel. Looks like he's out on his front foot a little bit. A little, just a little too anxious. Takes that breaking pitch for a strike. Can't do that. I mean, you know, you swing at the first pitch fastball. You ought to be expecting loading up and hitting that curveball. I mean, that's what you got to be looking at. Puts him down 0-2, so now he's got to hit the pitcher's pitch. Ball's in the dirt. Catcher keeps it in front so nobody can move up. Do have two outs. So one ball, two strikes, two outs. Kane in the box, Mason Neal at third, Grayson Burleson standing at second. Base hit right here would score two. Ball's gonna be in the dirt again. Catcher keeps it out in front of him again. Makes a count two two. Can't get comfortable right here, Will. You gotta kind of stay in it. I mean, two two count. You know he's pitcher's not wanting to give up on you. That's for sure. Pitches drove through the five six there hole line drive. Comes off, that ball was hit. That was a rocket. Drives in two runs right there. Good piece of hitting right there by Kane. Uh, ball one hop the left fielder out here and come off his glove. It was hit hard. So Kane picks him up a couple of RBIs, makes the score five to nothing Summertown. Glad to see the two out RBI, something again. Yeah, that's um, something we've not been seeing. Right. Good job, Kane. Gonna bring up Jackson Bennett. Kane over here at first. Jackson takes the first pitch in the dirt. Pitcher comes safe here, ready to deliver. Delivers to home. Jackson swings through that one for strike one. Ball's going to be in the dirt squared away. Kane's going to move up to second. I was looking at Paige's record before we came here, and it's really odd. They, they've played about six games, but they've only played two teams. They played two teams three times. Independence was one of them. 
So how'd the record look, Will? What they? I don't think they won any of those six. And then there was another game they had won. Ball's gonna be away, Jackson. I, th I think Centennial might have been the other other team. Maybe they won one of those. Which also you can never tell with spring you know, sports they, and Coach T when you yeah, look up. Yeah, you can't. But a lot of these, you can't tell whether they play more than or not. But a lot of these teams play three game series is up here. Piece going to be delivered. That's called a strike. I think Jackson thought it was ball four. Looked in on him. Kind of kicked out of the catcher's glove a little bit. Brings the count full. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Kane Kenny standing at second base. Ball's going to be fouled back. Jackson just hanging in there on that pitch. I like that. This battle. Got a two-strike count. Got a battle right here. Pitcher comes set here and delivers. Jackson takes that and up. Ball four. Bring up Keegan McCafferty. As a reminder, we have Clarksville Academy uh, next. in the in the next game. Yeah, we are playing back to back. So Which I'm again just so thankful for such a windy day. We have back to back games. Oh, so wonderful! So their coach <laughs> is going to come out and have a little mound yeah. visit. Uh, we'll take a little break with him. This is Summertime Baseball on X Sports Network. Jack Davis Insurance, located at 201 West Gaines Street in Lawrenceburg, has you covered through all of life's obstacles. Facing those challenges is easier together. That's why Jack Davis specializes in group insurance. Cover the most valuable aspect of your business, your employees, with coverage for life, accident, cancer, critical illness, short-term disability, dental, and vision. Jack Davis can customize plans all right, we're back. Keegan McCafferty steps in. Two outs. Jackson Bennett at first. Kane Kinnick standing at second. He's delivered. Keegan's going to swing through that one for strike one. Pitcher delivers. Keegan's going to hit that ball right back at him. Line drive back up the middle. Pitcher makes the play. Third out of the inning. Summertown do, does play four more runs here in the top of the second. As we're swapping up, we'll take a little break. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Welcome to Employee Resources Credit Union, where you're more than just a number, you're family. We provide financial solutions that rise above those of traditional banks. With roots stretching back to 1964, we've served four generations during constant industry changes. We're known for our low fees and incredible rates. Join us and experience the credit union difference. ERCU, not for profit, for service. All right, we're back. Braden Keaton comes back out to the mound. Ball's going to be lined here into left field, first pitch. Aiden Perez fields it on the one hop, gets it back in. Yeah. Lead, lead off single. Sorry, I missed that. I just realized I had the wrong pitcher's name on the screen. Sorry, Braden. And Reese Lonick, Lonick, that just had that hit. Evan Bales in the box, second baseman day, swings through that one, fouls it back. Grand 
ground ball double play right here. Pick over to first, he gets back. Had a pretty good lead over there, Will. Braden going to come set here, delivers. Ball's down is a breaking pitch. Graham didn't really have pitch. The uh, batter does move up on that. And <coughs> on that all-speed pitch, is down in the dirt. I don't think Graham really had a chance to to throw him out. But he throws it down. He's safe. Next pitch delivers in the dirt. Bring the count even. 1-1. One, one. Runner at second. No outs. 2-1. Two, two, one. Two, one. Sorry. 2-1. Two, Delivers. Ball's going to hit a mile high out here into left field. Going back, going back. Perez catches it on the warning track. Ain't nobody going to be able to tag on that because he was out there about halfway. That's that's a uh, base running mistake there by Page. Ball was hit well out here to the fence, and with the wind blowing out, it just kept coming. Be drum number 22, Tyson Copeland. Steps in the box with one out. Runner still at second. Be an all speed pitch for strike one. Right and come set here and delivers. Oh. Gonna hit him in the elbow. I don't know. What did the umpire say? Wait a minute. I think he's called that a foul ball. Did you get a good view of it? Where? May have been the knob of the bat. We can't hear it out here, but umpire saying it was a foul ball. It hit the knob of the bat. Puts him back in the box. Swings through that breaking pitch for strike three. Get his two outs. I think he felt like he was walked or hit by the pitch. Well, it yeah, it must have hit. I mean, right on the knob. yeah. It's gonna bring up number and sixteen. The Anderson. way it the way it bounced very well might have been the case. Bring up number 16, Anderson, is the DH today. It's yeah, with that first name, I would just call him Anderson, too. Yeah, that's what, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> his last name's Anderson, and I'm not even going to attempt his first name, so. He swings through that one for strike one. Omarion, Omarion. Omarion or Omarion. We'll go with that. Yeah. Anderson. One, he, one count. But he does look like he could hit one out here to me, Will, if he wanted to. It's that breaking pitch, called strike. It's a good-looking pitch for Braden. He's working it in really well today, too. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Runner still at second. Braden delivers. Ooh. Just a little high. I think Grayson Burleson was almost in the dugout. No very first base. Going to be another breaking pitch. Going to be left up a little bit. Bring the count full. Three balls, two strikes. Deliver, it's going to be out of the zone. High for ball four. Going to bring up number eight, the shortstop, Cole Graham. Steps in, Braden comes set, delivers. Ball's going to be hit a mile high here on the infield. 
Grayson Burleson's trying to get track on it. He does. Third out of the inning. Well, Brayden's gotten us through two scoreless. Yeah. We've stranded about three or three or so, I think. Well, yeah. Good job. Yeah. So we'll take a little break. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want. The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf. A premium line of residential mowers designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf and this is Hustler Country. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds. Let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals. Aiden Perez steps in, lead off the top of the third inning. He's going to take ball one. Be ball two in the dirt. Got Timmy some hand warmers up here. He does. I had to have something. I want to get through this inning so I can open them. I'm having to hold my glove in front of my. Perez going to hit that ball towards the second baseman. He backhands, throws over to first. First out of the inning. I should bring up Zach Staggs. Had a pretty good look the first time, uh, the first at bat. Oh, absolutely. Hit a big double for us. Sorry, I was playing with hand warmers. Takes ball one in the dirt. Got Clarksville Academy over here in the back cage yeah. next to us. Getting warmed up for us. Yeah. They got a lot of, it's going to take them a while to get warm today. Zach swings through that pitch for strike yeah, one. That would have been ball two. Yeah, it's down. One ball, one strike, one out. Zach swings through that one. Pretty good cut right there. I don't mind that. Now that you got two strikes on you, Zach, got to change your approach a little bit. Fighting stuff off. Just trying to get on. Ball's going to be in the dirt, squirt away from the catcher there. Two balls, two strikes, one out.
If it's delivered, then the dirt is actually going to hold up on it. Good job holding back on that one. Oh, yeah. Makes it 3 2. That's going to hit a ground ball into the 5 6 hole. Third baseman makes a good play to get there. Can't get up and get the out over at first, though. That's a good diving play right there by the third baseman. And Zach has reached two Twice. at bats today. Yep. Yes. Gonna bring up Matthew Luffman. Zach stags at first base. They do pick over at him. He gets back safe. Zach playing right field here this first game. I'm uh, figuring Coach Burst, you know, he's been behind the plate every game for us this year. And having back-to-back -back games, I figure Coach Burst will want to give him a little Blake behind the plate because he, I'm sure he'll be back behind the plate next game. He's delivered to Matthew. Matthew's going to hit that ball out into right field. Hit it well. But right fielder backs up makes the play. We could just stay like that right there, Will. Wind goes away. It just teases you about five seconds and then yeah, the wind gives comes us, back. Gives us just a second. Braden Keaton's gonna step up here with two outs, runner at first. Reached on a fielder's choice. First time up. First time up, yeah. Laid the bunt down. Pick over to first. Zach's going to get back. Pitch is delivered. Or I can take strike one. Set delivers here to Braden. It's going to be in the dirt. Catcher does a good job blocking it up. There goes our taco truck back out. Well, he wasn't here long. Yeah, it probably didn't take long. They got a bunch of construction workers working over here. He probably done had their stuff fixed, just rolled in and fed them and left, looks like. So, one ball, one strike, two outs. There goes. Zach's moved up to second. What happened? What did I miss? I was looking at the taco truck. Sorry. Braden's going to foul that and off over here into the third base. We, Zach, we got our priorities in yeah, order. Zach, over. Zach, has stole, Zach has stole second base while I was watching the taco truck. Well, I was thinking about a taco, Will. I'm yeah. kind of hungry sitting here. I'm starving. <laughs> so. I have to see what DoorDash can bring out here. <laughs> Concession stand's too far to walk. Yeah, ain't that the truth. So. Makes the count. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Zach Stagg standing at second base. Pitch delivery is going to be down. Ball two, evens the count up, 2-2. Two, two. Pitcher comes set and delivers. Ball is going to be popped down the first baseline. Kind of in a no man's land. First baseman gets to it and then drops it. It is in fair territory, so Braden's going to reach. Go back there, first baseman gets to it, comes out of his glove. Then he gets it in his hand and drops it out of his hand. So Zach does score from second base there on that. It's going to bring up uh, leadoff. Grayson Burst. It's definitely to our advantage that there were two outs there. Yes, absolutely. So, when Zach was moving on contact, Grayson two for two on the day with a leadoff double in the first inning and then a RBI single in the second. First pitch going to be in the dirt, squirts away. Did bring in Mason Neal to run for Braden again. Mason been getting quite a bit of running in this year. So 
one ball, no strikes, two outs. Runner standing at first, Grayson Burdison. Come set, ready to take the pitch. Pick over to first. Neil's going to get back safe. Toward the umpire, didn't look like the first baseman liked it much. Grayson digs back in here. Takes a fastball for strike one. May have been a little in on him. Grayson just didn't feel like that was something he could drive, I'm sure. Here comes Seth here and delivers again. It's going to be ball away. Mason Neal is going to steal second base with no throw. Puts him in scoring position here for Grayson. Good lead here by Neil at second. Grayson's going to take that pitch up and in. Ball three. Makes it three balls, one strike. Hitters count right here, Will. If it's anything, if it's if it's there, you're looking for that one pitch you can drive. And it was. Grayson's going to lift it into right center, right field. Second baseman coming back. Makes the play. Got back there pretty deep. Make that play. Grayson pops out to the uh, right field area. So we'll take a little break. It's Summertime Baseball on Exports Network. Hey guys, I'm Kyle Hammock, general manager here at Heritage Automotive, your Chevy, GMC dealer in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. I am from Marshall County, Tennessee, where I went to Cornersville High School. Uh, I attended Cumberland University. After Cumberland, I went into the United States Marine Corps to serve the country. After that, I went right back into the car business. I'm very familiar with the car business. I have been around the car business pretty much my entire life. And my commitment to you is to ensure the most competitive new and used vehicle pricing on the market, as well as the best service around. Well, we'll treat you like family here at Heritage Automotive in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. All right, welcome back. Timmy had to run off. I'll do my best to cover. Got Cameron Harris coming up here to start things off. Excuse me, swing. Strike one. Summertown up 6 nothing over Page. Page was in Lawrence County's district previous couple of years. I don't believe they are anymore. Off speed into the dirt, ball one. I remember when Steve Keaton was coaching volleyball here and my sister was playing volleyball. He used to have some really good battles with Paige. That's gonna be out of play into the, uh, really close to that other camera over there. Glad he missed that. Foul ball, count remains one and two. Again, we got Clarksville Academy coming up after this game. We've got a little bit of history with them. We'll talk about that in their game. Right over the third baseman's head into left field for a leadoff single, Cameron Harris. Brings up Lawrence File. No 
number 17. I believe they've gotten their lead off on before. Again, apologize for this wind. Timmy's got a glove that he holds over his headset, but I've, I've got to keep my hands in the control, so you're just stuck with the wind with me. Runner goes, and the ball is lifted into center field. And cut catch was not made. Runner's going to third. And throw is in time, I believe, by Case and Blackwood. If my camera work was better, you'd see who it was. But a really nice throw from center field, I believe, by Case and Blackwood to get the runner out at third. Somehow, the other runner did not move to second in that play. So it's one out with the runner at first. All that excitement really is the same result as if he had just struck out. Picks to first, runners back. Timmy is sprinting back here on a bad knee. <laughs> you got Ethan, ha Ethan Harrell up to bat, Timmy. Pick off again, it's gonna get by the first baseman this time. And going to go to third. Trying to go to third. Let's get him out again over here. But we Good didn't. play. Kane had to come up the line just a little bit. Uh, Timmy, you're going to be out of breath for a while. If you need me to cover another batter. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't from out of breath. I'm going to start hollering at that gun Porter John with us. So how did we get in this situation? I seen the out at third. How did he get on? All right. Well, the first guy got on in just a leadoff single. Second guy hit a bullet out here to center field as a, another foul ball there. Ball's going to be ripped down the first base. And uh, so the ball was ripped into left center, and I guess it was Casey Blackwood threw a bullet to third base to get the runner out who tried to advance to Yeah, third. I seen the relay there. It's Casey relayed to Jackson. Jackson spun, yeah. throwed to Kane. I'm saying somehow that runner didn't move over to second on that play, and uh, which, you know, so he, but he's at third now anyway. Yeah. With one out. Yep. No balls, one strike, one out. And you got Paige looking to get in the board. Pitch is going to be down for ball one. Even the count up here, one one. In front of Will, I think I'm going to start hiring a porter, John, right on the back of my truck. We set up so far away from the bathrooms most of the time. Pick down here to third my Graham pretty close it was pitch swung through strike two even to count up two two this is Ethan Hurl Sir hind catcher batting. Lawrence flies the runner. Ball's going to be hit 97 miles high. Matthew Luffin backs up, makes the play. Snap throw to home. Good shot by Matthew. That ball was hit about 10, 15 foot in the grass behind second base. Matthew goes back and gets it. Good play. Of course, with the runner at third, that's a huge out to get. Oh, yeah, that's huge. Get us that second out. Bring up Silas Porter, their third baseman. We delivered up and away for ball one. Pitch swung through, strike one. It's that off-speed pitch. braden has been throwing, doing a good job locating it. Little curveball he's got. Delivers again. Ball's going to be ripped into the 5-6 hole. 
He is going to drive the runner home. Come back with that curveball again. May have hung at him just a little bit, Will. Left it up just a little bit. Let him get his hands to it. Bring up their five hole hitter, Reese Lomick. Or Lomnick. I'm going to say Lomnick. Lomnick? That's my guess. Lomnick. Okay. He's delivered. Runner does go. It's in there safe. Braden comes set here, delivers to the plate. Pitch swung through. This delivery's going to be lifted. Should be Perez making the play on it. He does for the third out of the inning. Get us out of it. Of course, Page does play the run there. Score is 6-1, to one. Summertown leads, going into the top of the fourth. We'll take a little break with them. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Got a dent, a ding, a scratch, or a bent fender, major or minor, Car Country Collision Center in Leoma can fix you up. Car Country works with all insurance carriers, gives free estimates, can work on foreign and domestic vehicles, and has experience you can trust. They've been in business since 1990. Unfortunately, accidents happen, but you can get your car back on the road with as little hassle as possible with the help of Car Country. Call 931-852-4708 or stop by at 2567 Highway 43 South in Leoma. All right, we're back here for the top of the fourth inning. Case and Blackwood will be leading the inning off for us. Leave. They have made a pitching change that they didn't pick up on. I don't look like the same kid. That's going to be number 10, Aaron Bush, that has come in to pitch for them. Ball's going to be fouled off down here. Coach Burleson makes a one-hop play on it. Still got pretty good hands. Do what? Aaron Bush, yes, number 10. Aaron Bush. Pitch is delivered. Going to be called strike two. Blackwood takes that pitch. Piece of liver, it's gonna be up and in. I think that actually went behind him. Couldn't really, I mean, can't really tell from here, but from where the catcher caught it, it actually looked like it went behind Case. So come set here, counts evened up 2-2, delivers. Case is gonna take up and away. Ball three. Brings the count full. 
Three balls, two strikes. Nobody out. Nobody on. It's Casey's leading the inning off for us here. So Liver Casey's going to fight that off. Fouls it off against the backstop. Kane Kinnick standing on deck. Ball's going to be drove in the center field. He, uh, he does get back on it, though. Well hit baseball. Thought he had a chance there to give him, have him burnt, but he gets back on it, makes the play. Bring up the third baseman, Kane Kinnick, hitting in the three hole for Summertown today. He's one for one with a couple of RBIs. Had to walk in the first inning. Pitcher comes set here and delivers. Breaking pitch. Kane turns on, turns away from him, and it does drop in there for a ball, but got to watch it. Pitcher delivers. Fastball. Kane's going to foul that and straight back into the net. I think you said you, he walked the first time up, but now. Yes, he did. Am I, am I, thought, I thought he had an RBI. Uh, he's, no, not his. Well, he did, but no, uh, he walked his first at bat. Oh, Grayson, second at bat. Yeah, okay. his second at bat, he had two RBIs. All right. He hit the. That's right. We're already third time through now. Yes. He fouls that one back for strike two, and he goes down in the count, one ball, two strikes. Needs to be looking for that breaking pitch that he's seen on the first pitch. Has the wind died down? It, shh, don't say Sorry. that. Sorry. It'll come back, Will. Pitcher comes set here and delivers. It's going to be an all-speed pitch. Goes outside for a ball. I'm glad it wasn't a strike because I don't think Kane was swinging at it. Mm -hmm. So two balls, two strikes, one out. Pitcher comes set here to deliver. Does Kane swings through that one. Strike three. Makes me want to hit something, Will. Well, let's get over here. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep getting closer to you. I'm trying to sh <laughs> huddle up over here in this corner. Yeah. I'm trying to hide behind your computer screens. Summertime does have two outs. Brings up Jackson Bennett. Jackson swings through the first pitch, fouls it off, strike one. Set here to deliver an 0 1 pitch with two outs. Ball's going to be down. Even thing up, 1 and 1. Jackson swings through that one for strike two. So we had the game at Forest last night canceled. Yes. But since we added the game here today, we're still going to have the six games in six days. Yes. With an off right. day last night. I yes. think everybody probably was happy to get that day. I right, called strike three on Jackson. He takes that pitch down. I think everybody was too, Will. But, you know, we go back uh, Monday. We play Monday, Tuesday, off Wednesday, Thursday, play Friday, Saturday. So, I mean, you know, we're loaded up. Me and Coach Burson, I talked to him a little bit yesterday after practice. And, you know, he, he does this every year. But, I mean, the schedule we're playing right now, is tough. I mean, you know, we've we've played a really tough schedule, seen some really good pitching, and uh, yes, we have. You know, it's uh, so our record don't really reflect to me, don't reflect of how we're playing because we've been in just we've been in every game. I mean, you know, and yeah, that's what I think there was the one blowout game, yeah, that, the one that finished off in Gulf Shores, and the yeah, rest of them, yes, have been uh, you know, right there. Yeah, we've been in every one of them. I mean, you know, we've lost five to one and, you know, you say, y'all, hey, you was in that game. Well, we was. Yeah. I mean, you know, we was all in that game to the last inning and then, you know, we'll give up a couple or something like that. But, you know, we've been in every game. So, we're. I mean, our pitching has looked pretty good. Our, uh, you know, our hitting just yeah. needs to come around a little bit. Like I said, we need to get a few clean, more points. Clean, clean a few things up clean, on defense. Yeah, clean a few things up on defense. Some of them are throwing stuff, you know, not just splitting base runners. We've got to be doing that. You know, we're not doing it. I mean, you know, it's you got a runner standing at first and guy hits a ball to the outfield, you know. we got to know when we can throw him out at third, when we can split a runner. Uh, you know, we've had that a couple times. But, uh, 
you know it's so uh, it's all coming together it looks better every time i go uh, Coach Stanley said we need 99 games. We get 1% better every time we play. We need to play 99 games. I said, well, I don't think we quite got that many, but if you can have us uh, 30% better, yeah. you know, if we can play 25 games and be 25% better, we're going to be a pretty good ball club. So first pitch delivered. That's this, fouled into the first. We got, is it Evan Bell up there? Yes. So Summertown softball is playing down the road in Murfreesboro, not too far from here. Looks like they're trailing 2-1 to one in the third. I know they lost their first game yesterday, six to one. Uh, closer game, the second game. They are ma- they managed to get games in somehow yesterday in Murfreesboro. Um, I don't know how. I, I know they were playing in a constant drizzle the whole yeah. the whole time. I think I even heard that they were behind in the second game, but the other team forfeited because they were just tired of being out there. Just tired of being in the rain. Yeah, but they're now down now two to one. You know who they're playing? They're playing someone called Davies County out of Kentucky. The pitch is going to be up for a ball. Was it two balls, one strike? Nobody out. Nobody on. Bales in the box for Page. Pitch is going to be up yeah. and in. So, Braden, I have him unofficially at 46 pitches, I believe that says, here starting off the fourth. Not a bad pitch, no. Kemp. But he does – nope, he, uh, no, that's yeah. a strike. That's called a strike. Makes it 3-2. That's a good pitch. That's that all-speed pitch. And, I mean, you, you're you throwing that pitch with 3-1, you know, you're coaching yourself. you got a lot of confidence in it. Next pitch but is going to be left up. Yeah. Bring up number 22, Tyson Copley – or Copley. I well, I know. He's the first. I know downtown be. Boston has a Copley Plaza spelled Copley? this way. Copley Plaza. But uh, we're not in Boston. No. Well, Runner goes. goes. He's there. They've really not had any problems stealing bases so far. In this no, game. they haven't. So no outs. Runner at second. My electronic can warmer has gone dead. <laughs> I got I got another one of these That's little right. bags. I, I got a charger me. down here. I'm just gonna let it charge. Oh, you gonna plug your stuff up? <laughs> well, I still got one of these little bags. I ain't opened yet. I'm gonna use it for next game. Yeah. That's gonna be a strike. Could be down 0-2. The wind goes away a minute. Put my glove down, then it comes right back. So. Pitch delivered. It's all speed. He swings through it. Miss it. Graham's going to have to throw down the second first. Snap throw over the second. I don't know why the runner, you know, the coach over here for Page, looks a little frustrated because that, I mean, on that, I mean, that runner's out there halfway when Zach pops. I mean, he throws it first. You got to go on the third. But he don't. He pops back, tries to go back to second. Grayson actually had a play at him in second. So gives us one out. It's going to bring up their DH, number six, is 16, Anderson. Ball gets away from Hal. He throws down the third guy's safe. Yeah, it's going to be their DH, number 16, Anderson. We decide Omari or Omarian. Omarian? Omarian Anderson. Peace delivered to him. This kid just looks like he could hit one out here to us, Will. Clint Brazier has texted us to tell us we look and sound good. He's not being very truthful today. Clint, ain't. Clint knows I always look good. I don't know about the sound, but I don't know why. He's supposed to be up here helping I instead of sitting down there in that barbershop not doing it. I say uh, we're probably on in his barbershop today. Yeah, I'm sure we are. Swings through that one. That's two, two straight strikeouts. Yep. Again, last time we had the two outs with the runner at third, and uh, they ended up scoring. Let's they see end if we up can. scoring. Let's see if we can't get rid of that here. It'll be Cole Graham, the shortstop today, number eight up to bat. He takes first pitch breaking ball for a strike.
Ball's going to be drove into center field for a base hit. They do score the run. Good piece of hitting. As they, uh, you know, they thought we might break and pitch the first pitch, and uh, he swings to it, don't look very good, and then that, that next pitch come back with it, and he keeps his hands back and just slaps it back up the middle for a hit. That's hard to do. Bring up leadoff, Cam Harris. Yeah. Playing center field for him, batting left handed. I think he had a base hit his last time up. Pick over to first, he's back safe. Braden delivers to the plate and fouls that one off. Look at 01. Braden comes set here. Gonna deliver this into the plate. He does. Pitches grounded into the three four hole. Tell you what happened there. Matthew was running to second. Yeah, the runner. Yeah, runner was going. Matthew, and that's you know that's part of it. I mean, you know, you set that up as a coach. You seeing him, it's Coach Burleson is going to come out and have a conversation with her pitcher. We'll take a little break with him. This is summertime baseball on Exports Network. Articare keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great, they're here when we need them, and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and air so I don't have to. Arctic Air, when you need us, we'll be there. All right, we're back. No changes made. Yeah, I didn't make no changes. Boost the lever, squares the bunt, gets the bunt down. Everybody's just going to Yeah, Braden, Braden has to come get that one. That was a good bunt, good piece of bunt, and everybody's safe. Wasn't a play made nowhere. So that's what it's like to get a bunt down? A good bunt. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Cool. Does load the bases here with two outs. There we are with this two out deal going on again. Yeah. It's gonna bring up their hind catcher. Ethan Hurl, number four. Ethan Hurl. We'll play with a little mixed stuff on their signs. Yeah, it's like Graham's gonna run out and talk to Braden for a second. Well, four run lead. Get away from me quick here. Yeah, at this, at this instance, I mean, that four-run lead could be cut, you know, to a two-run here with a base hit, so. Summertown really needs a win. All right, we'll get her don't wins. Don't we? Yep. They'll all come. We don't need to win a game till we start the district. Yeah. Just a week or so away. Yep. Ball's going to be hit into – Right field, Zach Stacks ah, comes along, comes off the end of his glove. They're going to score one, two. I missed it. What Nobody's happened? at third. Cameras are all frozen. Yeah, Zach had to dive on that ball out there. Didn't come up with it. Come off the end of his glove. They end up just scoring the two. I actually thought when it come off the end of his glove, they may score the three, but they don't. So they do play two runs. Sorry. So – Makes it three to six. Well, it should be four. Four. Should be four. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So, was that a catchable ball? I mean, Zach made a good play on it. He had to come get it and dive on it to get there. All right. Well, they're bringing somebody out of the bullpen now. Yeah, I think they're going to do some uh, 
pitcher catcher swappage going on here so i don't really know what what direction we're going but we'll take a little break with them and let them know when we come back to summertown baseball on exports network The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf. A premium line of residential mowers designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability. Finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf and this is Hustler Country. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds, let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals. Make your property rock and roll with services from GNS Excavating, specializing in white sand, compost, mulch, topsoil, landscape gravel, and still landscape edging. Turn to the pros who know how to make your project shine with years of experience. The best part is they're locally owned and operated. Choose from a vast selection of mulch and rock from their conveniently located facility at number three Valley Road in Lawrenceburg, just off Buffalo Road. Phone 931-279-3841 and get started today. Why should you bank with Employee Resources Credit Union? We offer a wealth of services, including mobile banking. All right, we're back. Do have a few changes. Uh, Ryder Blackwood comes in the pitch for Braden. Zach Staggs is going to move from right field to back behind the plate. And uh, Cecil Williams is now playing right field for us. Pitch is delivered, going to be ground ball to third base. Kane fields clean, throws over to first, third out any. One pitch, one, one out. One pitch, one out. That works. That'll so, do it. Got us out of it, but uh, they do play three runs. Makes the score six to four going into the top of the fifth. We got to try to add some to it, Will. This is Summertown Baseball on X Force Network. Since 1986, Southeast Carriers Inc. has been a family owned and operated business in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. We strive to have updated equipment and technology to make our driver's job easier. We offer large company pay and benefits with a small company atmosphere. Are you tired of just being a number when you call your current company? Here you will be known on a first name basis. And all we ask is for you to give us an opportunity to prove that we are different than most trucking companies. For more information, information visit southeastcarriers.com D.H. Uh, Keegan McCafferty. Swings through the first pitch for strike one. <coughs> the 
This new pitcher came in last inning. Yeah. And was three up, three down. Keegan's going to drive that ball down the right field, out in the right field for a base hit. There we go. Good way to start the inning. Going to bring up Aiden Perez. Like I said, we'll need to tack a few runs on here if we can. It's a good start. Coach Burson runs through his signs. Perez steps in. Delivers home. Perez squares the bunt. Ball gets away from the catcher. Keegan's going to move up. That's some of that Keegan luck right there because he jumped out there. He was picked. I think the catcher had him picked at first <laughs> on that move, and then he just the catcher just dropped it out of the end of his glove, and Keegan moves to second. I think we need him on base running every chance we get because he, he has had some – he makes stuff happen out there for sure. Well, he does move to second. No outs. He'll occasionally trip over a base. Yes. Or dive back into first and not make it. Perez squares again. They oh. are going to back pick him. Again, Ball he got gets. Lucky. Yes. Because <laughs> again, it, I don't know if it's luck. It may uh, just be skill. I mean, yeah. we can't just keep calling it luck. But they throw that ball in the center field. I'm surprised he didn't jump up and go to third. Let's just say he gets away with more on the bases than most of our guys All does. Right. Somehow. He's praying to the right person, that's for sure. So one ball, one strike, no outs. Keegan McCarthy standing at second base. Aiden Perez at bat. Pitcher comes set here. Delivers, throws the plate. Aiden squares the bun again. That ball is going to be down. They call it a strike. Well, they, they put it on the board as a strike. I didn't see the umpire actually make a gesture, but evidently. It looked like that pitch was down on him. Squares the bunt. Pulls back. Yeah I, yeah, I don't know what the count is. I I'm think it must I think it must be two two. Yeah, I'm kinda lost. Oh it is. Okay, so they got on the board two two. Pitcher comes to set. Beast delivering. It's gonna be inside on him. Makes it three two. I honestly think they had the board wrong to start with. I think it was two one. And then he took that last one for a strike. So it's 3 2 now. No outs. Runner at second. Perez swings through that one for strike three. Bring up Zach Staggs they, now. They announced him as the right fielder, but he's the catcher yeah, now. Yeah, he is moved to the catcher. Keegan got a good lead here at second. Zach's going to take that off-speed pitch for a ball. Keegan just keeps inching a little more, a little more. Zach's going to hit that ground ball into the 5-6. I was going to squirt through. Going to hold Keegan up at third. <laughs> All right. That ball's just hit no man's land right there. That's a good piece of hitting. Zach's reached a few times today. He has. That 5-6 uh, hole is one of the biggest holes on the infield, uh, especially with a runner standing at second and a shortstop trying to hold him on a little bit. Let's see what Jason does here. I'd love to see just a big fly ball in the outfield somewhere. Just get one in. But they got they got the runner on first. They're probably going to try to move here. Yes. Matthew takes a strike. Pitcher comes set here, ready to deliver. Takes a look over to first base. Does try to pick over there. Gets away from him. It's 
going to score the run, gets it under the fence, everybody's going to move up one. That would be part of the fence. If I'm here at Page, I would be fixing. That thing just, I mean, it just kind of rolled back towards the fence and squirted it under it. And, of course, it give everybody a base. So we do score a run. And Zach Staggs does move to second base. No one count. Yeah. No balls, one strike, one out. Seven to four. Pitcher delivers. Matthew's going to hit that ball high into right field. Right footer comes in, makes the play. A little too close there for Zach to try to move up. Bring up Ryder Blackwood. Bring top the line up, and Grayson Burleson should be on deck. Ryder and not Braden. I got Braden on the screen. Yeah. No, yeah, it is Ryder Blackwood. He did take Braden's place on the mound last inning. Piece of liver. Ryder takes that first pitch strike. Zach's going to get him a walking lead here at second. Piece delivered. Strider squares the bunt. Ball's up and away from him. Strider been on that left side. He's got some pretty good wheels. He can get a bunt down his third baseline. He'll be hard to throw out, that's for sure. Strider's going to take that pitch up. Ball two. That car. Viewers might need to help us come up with something legal we can offer to every kid that gets a bunt down. If we can't get our viewers, yeah, y'all, y'all send us something we can we, do. We're trying to give our kids incentive to get their bunts down because they've been struggling to work with that on this it year. or something. Jake, Jake carrying books was one of them, but uh, for for Matthew Luthman. But the problem was Matthew got a bunt down, but he don't carry any books because it's the second semester of his senior year. Yes. So we but need to think of something. Worked that out we good can, for Jake. You know, something that's – we can't give them money, I guess. That's probably yeah. illegal. Three balls, one strike. Something better than Sonic gift cards, you know. We would buy them a cheeseburger at the concession stand. Ryder's going to swing through that pitch for strike two. Goes down three balls, two strikes, two outs. Zach Stagg still hung up out here at second base. Summertown has played one run this inning. Makes it seven to four. He's delivered. Ryder's going to hit a line drive here into right center field. It's going to get down. Ryder's going to get a double out of that. Zach's going to score. As they had him shifted, that ball was hit towards the, where the center fielder would be. As Ryder been a left-handed hitter, they had it shifted. So Ryder steps in the box and hits his first double of the year. I'm going to say that's uh, Ryder's first uh, high school RBI. I would too. So Mason, First of many, I'm sure. Yeah, Mason, oh, absolutely. I guarantee you he'll, that kid will hit many in his career. Going we'll to bring up Grayson Burleson. Mason Neal does come in to run for Ryder as he's pitching now. Score is 8-4. to four. That's twice now we've had some big two-out RBIs. Absolutely. As Grayson comes up, I'd like to see Grayson get another one here. Yeah. He's two for three on the day. Said here, delivers to the plate. Grayson takes it. Out. Thought that was inside the way he stepped back, but the umpire is going to call it a strike. Grayson goes down 0 2 in the count. Ditcher comes set here. Neil's got a pretty good lead. That's going to be called a strike three. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the pitcher come inside on him, then went back away from him. You know, three straight fastballs there. And just didn't get to none of them. So this is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. 
Head on over to Shaw Southeast Distributing in Lawrenceburg to find everything you need for your home, business, or fundraiser. To make life easier, Shaw Southeast Distributing now accepts EBT cards. Have a concession stand, food truck, or just your kitchen at home? Leave it to Shaw to fill your shelves with ease. Shaw Southeast Distributing delivers. Family owned and operated. Phone 931-762-7760. Follow us on Facebook or visit us at 1603 Ripke Avenue in Lawrenceburg. All right, we're back. Ryder Blackwood, nothing really changed. Ryder Blackwood's still on the mound. Guess we should have had my stuff pulled up I here. I think this is the Lemonic or Lemonic. Yeah. Lemonic. 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 Yeah. Reese. We're going to go with Reese. All right. Reese Lemonic. He is a right fielder. So Took first pitch strike, second pitch ball down. Out of delivers, he fouls that one off. I don't know if that went off the umpire or went off Zach or I think it hit, fouled back off Zach, back off the umpire, and Ryder goes and picks it up about halfway to the mound. Ryder had come in and thrown one pitch to get yeah, the last one, out of the one, Yeah, one pitch to get one out. Delivers here, that ball's in the dirt. Brings the count even, 2-2. Two -two. That was really big. To score those two runs after Paige got within two. Yes. Wow. They said they said that's strike three. Yeah, that looked a little low. Didn't well, it? I don't even think Zach thought it was a strike because he didn't just pop up and yeah. snap it around. So, but umpire called a strike. That's what it matters. Here's the pitch. Yeah, so, looked a little low, but Ryder got a strike out. Ryder delivers here. Gonna be up and in. Be number six, Evan Bell, playing second base for him today. Takes that for a strike. That's about the same location that other one was. So one ball, one strike, one out. He's delivered that ball is fouled off. So what, what Larry the new concrete? What Larry Bennett say when he told him to come over here and call with us? He had laryngitis today. Yeah, he said he couldn't talk. He had laryngitis this morning. So <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Larry just don't want to be on the radio with me. I don't know. So so one ball, two strikes. Pitch delivered. That was just kind of that was an all speed pitch, and he just done everything he could do to fight it off. Done a good job right there as a hitter. Yeah, I can't get Larry out here. I don't know. He's probably bundled up up there somewhere, a lot warmer than I am. Fish delivered. Fish gonna be fouled off. I kept looking around over in this grassy section, Will. We could have, you know, I'd almost drive my truck up on this road. I believe I could watch the game from my truck. You got a, a wireless mic I can get on back there. And I'll leave you sitting out here by yourself. Ball's gonna be in the well, dirt. Well, I offered to let you do that. I know, you offered to let me go but down it, there and stand. Yeah. But then you couldn't be on there with me. No, only one of us. So we can either be wired or we can be wireless, right? Yeah. We can't be both. Right. Pitch is going to be down Don't for a ball. Don't lose him. Makes it 3-2. Ryder delivers here. Ball's going to be drove into left field. Perez plays it on the hop, gets it back in.
Copley. Copley or Copley? Yeah. Number 22, Tyson. He's the first baseman. Pick over to first. He does get back safe. Got one out here. Let's get us a double play. We ain't turned a double play all day. Let's see one right here. I feel one coming, Will. Double play ball. Picks back over to first. Gets back safe. Pitch delivered home. Called strike one. Looks like Summertown softball is down six to one in Murfreesboro. You know what inning they're in? The Kentucky in? team they're playing. I think it's like the fifth. Pitch swung through. Middle school softball has already lost their rematch with Richland today, three to one. Ryder comes set here. Runner's got a pretty good lead at first. Delivers home. It's in the dirt. Pops away from Zach. Zach hustles to it, but. He is going to move up. Makes the count. One ball, two strikes, one out. Runner at second. Fish delivered. Called strike three. <laughs> he struck out a few watching now. Yeah, that's that outside corner out there. You know, we've... It's been called on us today, too. I think I actually got Grayson with it. His last hit, Matt. Oh, what happened? The what? Computer just went blank. All right. Wow. Did we lose everything? I still hear us, but okay. There it is. It's back. Piece what delivered, up? Zach. Ball was in the dirt. Zach had to block it up. Runner does move up to third now. It's their D.H. Anderson. Number 16. I've never seen this happen to my computer before. The monitor's just going on and off. About I time for a new one, Will. I think it's that thing. Let me, let me just unplug this. All right. That should do it. Ball's ripped to third. Kane Kinnick catches right, that go. line drive for the third out. Good job. Gets us out of the inning. All right, Summertown so no, does no, list that's, that's big at scoring two runs to, oh, it to is. hold them. It is. Going into the top six. Top of the sixth inning. Summertown leads eight to four. We'll take a little break. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. Case and Blackwood steps in to lead off the top of the sixth inning. Be Case and Blackwood and Kane Kinnick and Jackson Bennett here in that order. Case and comes set here. First pitch takes it off the head. Was it? Did it hit him in the head? He just stand there and take it. Yeah, but it was very – it was like a change Yeah, it was an all-speed pitch or something. Case had just <laughs> – he just kind of turned his head. Well, don't – looked like it went right off side of his helmet where we're at. I didn't get the replay, but yeah. – It's going to bring Kane Kinnick up with no outs. Get 
Mr. Come Say It here, delivers. Kane takes. Let's case and move up to second. I don't know. I think he called that a strike. It's called a strike one. I think Kane was taking all the way. That was just by his posture in the box. I'm gonna let Kaysen move up. See if Kane can't chase him home here. Kane hits a ground ball towards the shortstop. Shortstop fields, throws over to first. First out of the inning. Does move Kaysen up though. Kane hit that ball off the handle a little. Bring up Jackson Bennett with a runner at third. Nobody out. Jackson takes first pitch in the dirt ball. Gonna hit that ball foul territory over towards first base. Gonna get it out of play. No. What did it hit? Did it hit the light pole up there or something? That had to be out of play. Ended up landing on the field. It must yeah, it must have hit the uh, lights for the softball field or soccer field. Pitch is gonna be up, ball two. Calls that a strike, that, that ball's down. I think Jackson could do anything with that. Makes pulls the count 2-2. Two, two. Heard someone say bring out your nine iron. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. And Jackson's going to take that and off the back. Yeah, it sounded like... Uh, Miss McCafferty setting so I don't know where she's at. Today. I think that's in the blue over there. They always sit there on the. Yeah, they're over there on that side now. That yeah. might be them over there. Yeah. That's them right there. I think she might have said bring that Trinana. Yeah, it sounded, like, it sounded like her voice. Gonna bring up Keegan. One out. I understand it. DH Keegan today. Yeah, first and third. Keegan squares the bunt. Pulls it back. It's in the dirt. First and runs through his signs again. She gets that runner to second here. Squires the bunt again. Keep pulls going. it back. Runner does go. No throw. Now Keegan's got runner standing at second and third. Jackson's still kind of holding his top of his neck. I think he hit him like in between the shoulder blades up towards the top of his neck, I believe, the way he's holding. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. As uh, Keegan's going to foul that one out of play. Makes it two balls, one strike. His pages infield has all come in in the grass, so they're playing for the out at home for sure. Let's see Keegan get him a couple of RBIs right here. Squares the bunt. Ah. Well. Fouls it off. We're going to start us a bunt bounty. Team's going to take that ball in the dirt inside. Yeah, there's just not much you can offer. I mean, you know, in the 50s yeah. and 60s, you could offer, you know, like kissing booth and things like that. You can't, oh, yeah. do, you can't do any of that anymore. No. Ball's going to be down for ball four. Loads the bases up for Aiden Perez. Just got to think of something legal. Fans help us. What can we offer these kids? Each time they get a bunt down. They're going to get something. What can we give them without breaking any rules? It can't be money, I guess. 
I would say Jake can't I carry everybody's books for them. I don't know if it can be money or not. I mean, you know, they do it in college now. We can send them to McDonald's and let them pick up a brown sack or something out the window that nobody knows about. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> they got a pitch and change here? Uh, the coach is out talking to him, so we'll take a little break with him. This is Summertown Baseball on X Sports Network. Jack Davis Insurance, located at 201 West Gaines Street in Lawrenceburg, has you covered through all of life's obstacles. Facing those challenges is easier together. That's why Jack Davis specializes in group insurance. Cover the most valuable aspect of your business, your employees, with coverage for life, accident, cancer, critical illness, short-term disability, dental, and vision. Jack Davis can customize plans for every need. Serving Lawrence and surrounding counties since 1987. Contact Jack Davis Insurance today at 931-242-5225. Head on over to Shaw Southeast Distributing in Lawrenceburg to find everything you need for your home, business, or fundraiser. To make life easier, Shaw Southeast Distributing now accepts EBT cards. Have a concession stand, food truck, or just your kitchen at home? Leave it to Shaw to fill your shelves with ease. Shaw Southeast Distributing delivers family owned and operated phone 931-762-7760 follow us on facebook or visit us at 1603 ripke avenue in lawrenceburg All right, we're back. Sorry, missed the wind there. I was trying to block it with my glove. Aiden Perez steps in. Going to take – they did make a pitching change. What we say his name was? Doyle? Right. Yeah, if you ever watched the Major League movie, like Doyle and that. Yeah. So, does throw a strike there to Perez. Makes it one ball, one strike, one out. Bases are loaded here for Summertown. It's an all-speed pitch. Going to be up and away for ball two. Perez hit something to the right side for me right here, baby. Let's go. He's going to drive that ball out here into left field. Left footer's back. Makes the play. We are going to get a tag. Do score one run, and Jackson Bennett will move up to third. Well, good job, Aiden Perez. Nice, solid contact to left field. Yep. Just deep enough to, to get them runners moved up. Yeah, the throw went to third. Yes. Jackson slides in safe over there pretty easily. They do check him at second to see if he left early. The umpire said he was safe. So now we've got an empty base at second base. Let's see what they do here. Keegan McCafferty at first. Two outs. Bring up Zach Staggs. Runner does not go. Pitch is going to be down and away. Yeah, this is one of them two out deals that you uh, you hate to run yourself out of an inning for sure. Pitch delivered. Down and away again. Ball two. Have we scored nine runs in the game yet this season? Not that I remember. Yeah. Yeah, in Florida. Yeah. Yeah, we was up eight to nothing and lost nine to 11. Ball gets away from the catcher. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't find it. Pitcher has to go get it. You know, I think it kind of confused everybody. Jackson don't even try to advance from third. Keegan does move up to second, though. So two balls, one strike, two outs. Summertown leads the game 9-4 to four here in the top of the sixth inning. Zach's reached a few times this game. Let's see if we do it again. Zach's going to drive that ball. I think he's got it. I think he's got it, Will. Yes, sir. He's cleared the fence with that for a two-run shot by Zach Staggs. Zach got all of that one. 
most definitely got all of that one, brother. Zach's trying to get himself back in the lineup where he belongs, and he has had a great day. I don't know that I move him. Uh, as well as he's hitting in the seventh hole, we may just leave him there for the rest of the year. So great job right there by Zach. It'll be a three-run home run. So that's our first homer of the season. Yes. Is that the first of his career? Uh, no, Zach's hit, Zach's hit a couple. I think he had one last year or two. He snuck in there. Well, that was a big one. Absolutely. Lead is now 12 to four. Matthew Leffman's gonna hit a little squibbler. That's gonna be tough. Oh, they do make the play for the third out of the inning. Hey, big hit right there by Zach Staggs. Puts Summertown up 12 to four now. Oh, uh, great piece of hitting. So we'll take a little break with them going into the bottom of the sixth inning. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. All right, we're back. They'll be leading off the bottom of the sixth inning with Cole Graham, which is their shortstop tonight. We interested to see who uh, pitches the next game for Summertown. Ah, Johnny Holstaff, buddy. Yeah. That's everybody we got over there this weekend. Pitch is going to be up and in on him. That's one thing you can't, you know, say enough about. I mean, you know, you Braden throwed a good game to start this game. Uh, Riders come in a couple of times this year, look really good. That pitch is going to be lined second base. Matthew Luffman makes the play, throws over to second. It's the first out of the inning. Good job right there by Matthew. But you can't say enough about our young pitchers we've had. I mean, you know, the – Huckabee throwing that Spring Hill game last night. I mean, through through great. You couldn't ask for no better. Riders come into a couple of situations through really good. Uh, pitch is going to be called strike. Should be back to the top of their lineup. This is a left-handed. Yeah, Cam Harris, center fielder, swinging left-handed. We'll slap that ball towards second base. Matthew comes in, makes the play, throws over to first, gets the second out of the inning. Two up, two down right here for Ryder. Everybody's going to shift around a little bit right here. It's going to be delivered, called strike one. Ryder kind of picking the pace up a little bit on how quick he's working here. May be cold out there with no sleeves on. Breaking pitch for called strike two. Batter goes down 0-2. Some, somebody suggested burger and fries from the, the hitching rail. <laughs> called strike three. That's a good, good pitching sequence right there. Hey, good, good outing right there. 
That was a great one, two, three inning again. Yes. Uh, lots of times we'll get those two quick outs, but have a tough time getting the third. They're, they're coming out. Yeah, that's going to be the game. I think it was just going to be a time game, six inning game. So that's going to be it right there. Summertown does win this game against Page, twelve to four. Uh, we will have a little break here. Uh, like I said, can't say enough about our younger pitchers, Will. That's right. Uh, There's hitters, a sophomore and a freshman yes. that came in and hitters, combined. Yes, hitters coming around. Uh, you, you know, Kane come up with a couple of big RBIs today. Grayson burgerson has got two Aiden, big hits and today. And I say, Aiden Perez getting that big Aiden, fly ball to, right. to left field, yes. uh, bringing in a run. Yes. And then Zach Staggs with – well, he led, he got on base several times yes. before, but he yes. got the big in there at the yep. end. Big home run there at the end. But, I mean, you know, putting the ball in play. <laughs> you know, that's kind of where I was leaning. You know, you, we got to – we put the ball in play this game. And if we put the ball in play, stuff's going to happen for us. We've got some runners. we got some speed on base. And, you know, if we can just continue to put the ball in play, we'll be fine. So, we're going to take a little break. Uh, I don't know, probably 20 minutes, I guess, maybe, by the time they get warmed up and everything Surely. swapped, swapped yeah. over. So, We'll take a little break, and we'll be back to do another. This is Summertown Baseball on X-Sports Network. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X-Sports Network.